All right, here we are at the end of a fun night with the quadcopter. We're just gonna give you guys a quick demo of what we were able to do. Um, we got the scope over here showing what we're commanding to uh, the ESCs, which are not powered on. So over here, we'll show you the voltage and the current. Um, we got a nucleo board connected to Cooper's laptop with one end of the radio. Over here we have a Raspberry Pi, another laptop, uh, the other end of the radio. So what we're going to show you is that we can command it remotely. Um, we also are getting some telemetry live. And um, all right, let's power it up. So as I'm about to power it up, Cooper's getting ready to send the uh, startup sequence that will tell the ESCs how to operate right away. Um, they're going to beep a bunch. So you can see in the background the pulse width that we're sending. He just set it back to zero. All right, so he throttled it from 100 to zero, and then they all beeped and stopped, so they're all ready to be commanded. All right, so. What are you uh, commanding the motors at? We're at 20%. All right, so as you can see, we just talked about, we had it at 100, we set it to zero, which is normally what you would do for these ESCs, like with your, your joystick. Um, so we're commanding it at 20% throttle. And this is also why we have uh, these garments here underneath. If we removed one, it would rattle a lot and the connection integrity would go down quite a bit. So how deep can we throttle before we they totally shut off? Uh, we can throttle all the way down to a 5% duty cycle. Is that as low as it goes? That was a three. Three, wow. Well, I think that's the deepest throttle we've seen so far. So why don't you throttle up to 100 and let's check the current. Spikes up to almost 6 amps, but steadies out at like 3.3. We don't have any protection off this battery right now. It's sitting at like 11 volts, so it's good for a little longer. Um, we haven't measured RPM yet, but Here, do you want to come over here and uh, move tilt fit so I can watch the live telemetry? Yeah. One of the, we're, this is just off the uh, accelerometer, and one of the issues we have is it gets out of sync, so not all the values are reflect the actual axes, and it might even be offset by a byte so that none of the values reflect really any of the axes at all, and it's just all screwed up. But Cooper's over there tilting it. Um, it's not calibrated or anything, so that's like working with the accelerometer is one thing that can take a long time to get accurate, but we at least have the full data pipeline. So, anyways, this took didn't take very long, and uh, we had some fun with it. So, thanks for watching.